Hello lovelies, how are you? I hope you're still okay, you're still fine, because I believe you're following last, those SOPs, all right? Um, we are still talking about insects, how they come to exist. We talked about the butterfly, we talked about um, the mosquito. Yes, today I want us to look at another insect, but before we do that, let's go through the activity we did last time uh what type of life cycle do mosquitoes do undergo what did you put there yes complete life cycle do you know why yes because it undergoes four stages of development mm. where do mosquitoes lay their eggs we said you can write stagnant or still water so the mother mosquito or the mosquitoes lay eggs in stagnant or still water. What name is given to the lava stage of a mosquito? We say that's a wriggler. It has a W at the beginning. It has a wriggler. Name one disease spread by mosquitoes. Of course, malaria. That's very common. There's elephantiasis and uh, yellow fever. All right. Let's continue and see what we have today. Uh -huh. Today I want us to look at a housefly. Do you know a housefly? Do you know a housefly? Have you ever seen a housefly? Oh, where do you normally see them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where do you normally see them? Are they good? Are they useful? Hey. Hmm. You think they are not useful, but they have a certain stage. There is a certain time when they are useful. There is that particular time when they are useful. Yeah, I know you are complaining. You say, no, it can't be. We are going to see. You know, when they are growing, eh, there is a certain stage, at, at a certain stage, when they are actually useful. All right, let's see. This life cycle, sorry, the housefly also undergoes four stages of growth. At first, it is the eggs. Then the eggs. And who lays the eggs? Of course, the adult female housefly. Not the male. The adult female housefly will lay the eggs. And then the eggs will turn into the larva. And then the larva will turn into the pupa. And eventually the pupa will turn into the adult. Aha. Uh -huh. You see? When the adult mosquito lay the eggs mostly in dirty or damp places after some time this mosquito sorry this egg will turn into the lover all right and the lover is a maggot i believe all of you have ever seen maggots yes in decaying matter when things are rotting of course the maggots the maggots are always there. Then this maggot will turn into a pupa. And the pupa is still. A pupa does not move, does not eat, it's just dormant. And then afterwards, the pupa will turn into an adult. Yes, let's see. How does this come about? How easy! I promised you. To, I promised to tell you that there's there's a certain stage where a housefly is useful. Uh huh. We said houseflies lay eggs in dirty places. If you don't want to say dirty, you can say damp. Damp is D-U-M-P. Damp places. Do you know some of the dirty places? Hmm. It likes laying eggs in dirty places like dustbin toilet and even your uncovered food it comes lay the eggs there and then those eggs after some time the egg will turn into the lava and we say the lava is the maggot you know the maggots have you ever seen something dead and it's about it's just start to rot the maggots are always there. They are actually speeding up the rotting because they like eating. They like eating the decaying matter. 
and then they will be able to reduce on the volume. Now you can imagine if a dog, because we normally pass by dogs which which died on the way, on the road. Now I'm imagining if there were no house flies, and then they keep, you know, they die and they rot from there. Not nothing is eating them up to remove them. Would it be a better place to live? No, because every time you pass by a decaying, maybe a decaying thing, it smells badly. All right? So what the maggots help us, or what the lower stage of a housefly helps us, is to eat up, to eat up the decaying matter. I'm saying, imagine um, a dog dies on the road, and there are no mosquitoes, sorry, there are no houseflies, to lay their eggs in that decaying, uh, uh, decaying dog. Because once it lays the eggs in that decaying dog, the eggs will turn into the maggots. The maggots will start now eating up. They'll start eating up the decaying, the decaying dog. For instance, it, fell on, it, it uh, died on the road, maybe it's a cat, maybe any other animal. And the maggots now will start eating up that decaying matter. Once it eats it up, it will reduce and it will eventually will be over and it will be no more. Then it will be passing by when you are fine. Also, the maggot is very useful. It reduces volume of feces. For instance, you know, we say the um, housefly lay its eggs in dirty places like a latrine and that's where we go for long call all right and that's where we defecate from that's where we ease ourselves from so the feces that is in the toilet sorry that is in the latrine is uh, being fed on by the maggots and once they keep eating them they are kind of reducing on their volume all right so the toilet that would be full maybe within uh, two two or three months will take some big, big time before it becomes full okay that's how important the maggot is in that area but also we said even in reducing or decaying matter it's very very helpful mm -hmm. the adult stage of a house fly for it is dangerous because it's also spread disease germs spread disease germs like cholera trachoma dysentery diarrhea all of those um i'd like to urge you if you have some food and maybe they have actually some of you have a tendency they give you food and you want to take forever to finish it they give you food at break maybe in the morning at around eight you want mommy or daddy or auntie to fast sing and you leave your food open it becomes cold you don't know the house flies just looking out there is just just close there it's just looking at that food it wants to lay the eggs it wants to sit on that food so you are waiting for them to sing for you and the food gets cold and when it gets cold the housefly comes just a few minutes lays the egg there once it lays the egg there maybe after sometime you watch your cartoon they are finished singing for you they have promised you heaven on earth then you come and eat guess what You've eaten the egg of a housefly. And before you know it, you'll be, you'll actually, you'll be complaining over time. Mommy, my stomach is aching. Mommy, I have a running stomach. Mommy, this, mommy, that. Okay? So, eating food when it's warm is one of the good activities we should do. And also, eating it on time. If you finish, if you eat and you feel uh, uh, this is too much for me, I can't finish it, then cover it up. Cover it up properly so that the housefly won't lay the eggs there, won't sit on it, because when it sits on it, of course, it, the whole of its body is dirty. Do you want a housefly in your food? That's why you should be careful. Well, I have some activity for you about um, a housefly. The stages it undergoes, we said it goes for, undergoes four stages of growth. 
and um, this is first the eggs, then the eggs will turn into that wriggly, wriggly stuff, the maggot. Then the maggot will turn into a pupa, which is very dormant. Just it does not eat, I told you, it's just there. But after some time, the pupa, which was dormant, which was just not feeding, turns into an adult housefly, and then the adult housefly will fly around, spreading diseases. Very, very dangerous. Well, this is the activity for you. Go through it, read it and understand it, and then answer properly. I hope you're going to cover your food and you're going to eat. Don't allow your parents or your aunties to keep singing and, you know, oh my goodness, taking forever to finish promising you everything because the mother, mo the mother house flies just there waiting to where it's going to spread the diseases. I hope you're going to be, to, to, to be well to, to do what we have, done, we have said here. And you're going to continue following the SOPs. Till we meet again. I love you so much. Bye-bye.